but two on the same show. He knew it, RP, knew it. Perfection for Momo. Yes, for those of us who still have the bumpers in the gutters, that <laughs> is phenomenal. He is one of the greats of the game, and he is with us, Jason Belmonte. Welcome. G'day. Lovely to have you Thank here. Welcome you. home, I should say. Yeah, it's bloody good to be back here, let me tell you. It's uh, no place like home, and when you spend so much of it overseas, uh, every minute you get here is uh, even more special. Oh, you, you're from Orange, uh, grew up there, the bowling alley that, that your, your parents built and still run? Still run, yeah. Uh, just in a few weeks, it'll be 39 years old. So uh, it's been around a while, but um, it's, uh, it's kicking goals. It's, it's doing absolutely fantastic. So very proud of mum and dad. Seeing your style um, in that clip then, I feel like we've been doing it wrong for all these years. I mean, can you take us through your, your footy, almost like a footy pass kind of bowl? Yeah, I was really lucky that my parents knew nothing about bowling when they built the bowling center. So, <laughs> I, was really, I was really little when I started, 18 months old when I rolled my first ball. And the ball was just too heavy for me to roll with one hand like a traditional player. So I would just pick it up and kind of roll it as best as I could. But as I was getting older, the one thing that I could do that no one else in all of Orange could do was I could curve the ball the whole lane. And to me, that was just cool and exciting. And uh, I decided, well, if I'm going to do this, I'm going to do it how I want to do it and how I enjoy it, and uh, no one's going to tell me otherwise. Has anyone copied that style since? Uh, yeah, yeah, I would probably say um, over the last 10 years, it has spiked dramatically. So there was an estimate, and I'm not entirely sure, so don't quote me on this, but there was an estimate about 25% of the global population now bowls. Uh, the same way that wow. I do. When which... you say don't quote you, you're going straight out on television. <laughs> 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 but and you've got a journalist at the desk, so it'll be in the paper. Sorry. Uh, what is that again? Put, put that inverted commas next to <laughs> right, gotcha. right. what, what about um, the, the, the high profile sportsmen? There's always a couple of bowling nuffies, isn't there, that, that love your sport and just uh, and are good at another sport? Yeah, absolutely. So, like, bowling is one of those games that. I mean, I'm sure you've all gone bowling and um, it doesn't really require, you know, to be a certain height or a certain size. You can, it's really just hand-eye coordination. So when you see athletes with brilliant hand-eye coordination, usually they're actually not too bad at bowling. And some of the biggest names, like Mookie Betts from the Los Angeles Dodgers, he's actually a professional bowler. He has his pro card, bowled a perfect game on the pro tour. Uh, Terrell Owens, who was a Hall of Famer NFL player. Chris Paul, um, another Hall of Famer to be for the NBA. Um, fantastic bowler as well and uh, it's pretty cool when you get to see these you know huge I mean absolute huge sporting stars especially yeah. in the US um, actually have a little form when yeah. they're bowling a ball it's it's kind of cool to see. Do you know what it else is good for? It's good for picking up. I remember <laughs> um, AMF in Orlunga I used to take girls there on first dates and it was I was very popular. Um, so back in Orange were you what was your strike rate on the lane and off the lane Jase? <laughs> uh, look mate we, we don't kiss and tell <laughs> <laughs> here. But uh, but I will say that um, you know it's a really it's a, it's an amazing sport where both men and women can compete at the same time. Um, we do play a lot of mixed doubles and stuff like that. And um, you know I'm really I don't know how to I'm a little thrown off because <laughs> I'm, I'm, th I'm, th I'm actually thinking of my first kiss. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I, was, I was only only ten, but it was it was, it was a nice little strike peck, and I'll get a strike. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> In the US, obviously, it's the place to be, and it's kind of along the, the same lines, I guess. In, in popular culture, bowling is so huge. I mean, the, the Flintstones, the you know, Lebowski, all of those kinds of things. Uh, in The Simpsons, which you featured, is it still as popular? On TV, it used to be more popular than basketball in the 60s and early 70s. Does it still have that gravitas in the States? I definitely think that the sport itself is as recognisable and as played as, as much as ever. Mm -hmm. um, like I said, I don't know anyone, and I'd, I'd find it hard-pressed to find someone who hasn't rolled a ball down the lane in their life. Um, where we kind of probably dropped the ball um, is we, we kind of went away from that real professional athlete stereotype and we fell into that Homer Simpson, that kind of, you know, eating burgers and drinking beers. But if you come on tour and you watch us compete, it's relentlessly and it's tough and it's, 
you have to be athletic. It's, you know, between four to six hours a day of continuous bowling. Wow. For five days a week, you get the TV show for the championship on the weekend, you got a travel day, and then you're doing it all over again for half a year. So, you know, if you want to drink your beers and, and bowl, you can, but I don't know if you'd be too good at the pro level. And that's something that we've really needed to kind of, like, re uh, kind of get that message back out T there. Tony, I'm offended. You brought up all the cult pop culture. You didn't bring up Kingpin. The greatest bowling movie of all time. Now, please tell That's me... That's the debate. That's the debate. Now, please tell me Ern McCracken is a hero of yours. Ern's <laughs> the great film. Oh, look at this. Now, this is bowling. Ern McCracken. It's how I want to do my hair when I... <laughs> <laughs> when I no, but there is a big debate in, in the bowling community. What is the best bowling movie? And there's obviously... You know, Kingpin and the Big Lebowski. And uh, look, how can you, you go past Big Earn? I mean, like, you know, three strikes in the tenth to win the million dollars. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's folklore. There's a very good argument to say that you are the best bowler of all time. That's more of a statement than a question. You can quote him on yeah. that. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. But I think since you've been with us, uh, the, the US Open, you've uh, you had a win. I think we've got a new vision of the US Open. That uh, here it is. So. The way you, what's your desire? I know you spent six months over there to be recognised in that way. Yeah, so this tournament was super special for a lot of different reasons, but I had um, previously won, there's five major championships on the Pro Tour and I had won the other four um, in my career and I was missing the US Open. So winning that was the, uh, the super slam of the major championships. And... Um, to go along with, which I'm really fortunate to, to say, a, a record 14 majors, which I think when we first met, I don't know if I had any um, at the time. So the goal, you know, once you get to a point where you break the record and, and you know, you're still competing, I don't know, I kind of look at it as these, uh, these ridiculous ideas, like the ones that you say and people look at you and just think you're, you're crazy. Yeah. Um, but I want to double the record. So the previous record held by arguably the greatest of all time is Earl Anthony, um, and he had 10 major championships, and I want to get to 20. Um, and if I can do that, then... You're uh, I'll... That you're yeah. stuck that <laughs> <laughs> already <laughs> done, of course, <laughs> in terms of the US Open, has managed to hold the trophy. Uh, and we might have enjoyed this together last time as well, but I just can't get enough of it. This was... Uh, this is the way you receive a trophy. This is one of the... Uh, a very famous... <laughs> <laughs> I, I know that's, that gentleman's name is Pete Weber, and he is. Um, we throw we throw around the goat term, but he's obviously another person in that conversation. And uh, he's I also him, a psycho. <laughs> <laughs> he's a little cranky at times. <laughs> uh, I asked him about that that moment, and I said, you know, what, what actually happened? And he said, um, someone earlier had unscrewed it. For, for some reason, so as a happened. joke, as a joke. Oh, never but died. never told him. <laughs> and, uh, he lifted well, above his head. Now, so you don't want to know that. Yeah, exactly. yeah that's, what I, that's what I heard. You head to Tasmania, obviously, uh, Devil's Lair, yep. that tournament, great to play in your own country. Mate, there's no, no better place to play than at home, and I'm really excited to get to, to Hobart. Um, we've got a, a big exhibition event on. We're bringing in a couple of players from around the world, some of the best players in the world, to kind of, uh, yeah, just showcase pro bowling to the Australian bowling community. How do we get our eyeballs onto it? Mate, you can actually um, go to a website called Flow Bowling. It'll be streamed on there, and then hopefully the local media down in, in Hobart will pick it up and we can uh, run with it there. Jeez, good to see you again. Mate, Thanks so thank much. Thank you very for much. Appreciate it, guys. What an absolute legend. Coming up, though, our Champ of the Week. Stick around.